How's it going everybody? This is Mark with Veg Out number 8 for the Hub Growers uh, this winter. And as you can see, uh, the main thing that we're looking at uh, every time we come out to the garden are these snap peas. They're really, really uh, taken off now that they've been established. All these white flowers are turning into snap peas, which we're very excited about. You can see our first ones here. Um, we're going to let them grow a little bit longer. Uh, and we'll do a post on when to pick them or like around what time uh, you should be picking them. But let them get a little bit thicker than you see here. Um, this is a, an heirloom variety. Uh, so it's going to look a little bit different when we pick them uh, than a typical like store-bought snap pea that's like really, really like overripe almost. Uh, other than that, we've let our lettuces grow back. You can see that this is where we've picked. Uh, from previous weeks and we're letting it grow through the center and um, the color on this is insane This is one of our favorite lettuces now um, But it's the size of my hand. So we're gonna uh, Continue to pick this from the outside in. I mean you can see this just this one leaf. We'll get a Perspective on how big it is. I mean, it's bigger than my hand. Uh, I'm probably gonna eat it right now Mmm Sorry if you can hear the crunch, that's literally me eating it. Um, the bok choy, we just did a recipe uh, with a veg member and chef. He's an executive chef in the area, uh, Michael Zonfarelli. I'm, I'm hoping I'm not butchering his name, but I probably am. A really, really good like uh, detox cleanse soup that takes five minutes to make and it's, it's delicious. It's one of the best soups I've ever had. So we're gonna use the bok choy probably this week, and we're gonna post that video and recipe uh, later this week. Um, we also use the parsley and the fennel in the recipe. So three things from, from the garden that we're using for that soup. Um, the other plant that's really started to take off is the celery, finally. This was kind of a slow grower, but now these shoots are coming out. Um, you can use it as is. It's a little bit harder to pick off, so you might want to use scissors um but yeah celery is super delicious uh it is super bowl game day today uh so if you guys are making dips make sure to use your fennel and your parsley really good use of those we're probably going to do the same and i don't know do maybe like a french onion dip with the fennel and if you hear me chewing it's because i'm still eating stuff as we're going around and then our snap pea kind of trellis is pretty cool sticking out off the side um and we're just gonna let let the snap pea do its thing from here on out and start making these networks of connections still uh kale we've been using it in some kale soups it's getting really big too as well as uh this like purpley i think it's like a red starboard kale is the name of it and then this is our toscano kale really beautiful it looks like a huge flower almost from this angle uh, other than that, our Oregon Spring tomatoes we've been picking, uh, they've all been turning red. We have a basket of them inside, so I think we might use some of these today as well for game day. Um, I'm going to eat the rest of my lettuce. <coughs> Try not to choke. Say what's up to our flamingo. See if it wants any. Doesn't. Um, but if you guys have any questions, use help at growveggiestoday.com. Look forward to our, or look for our uh, bok choy recipe. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and if you have any questions, please let us know. All right. Enjoy the Super Bowl and we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.